right. Well, we're really honored to have uh, Brother um, has been partnering with um, us in 10 days for a number of years now. He's been doing just incredible things um, for the Lord and seeing breakthroughs in prayer, in unity, in evangelism um, in the Middle East. And so we're just going to turn it over to our brother right now. We're really honored to have him with him with us and i'm a, you know it is uh, an early morning for him right now so we're really grateful for him rising up to be able to share with us super big honor for us so over to you uh, thank you thank you my global family i'm so excited to be here and uh, it's my first time to share my heart with you and uh, whatsoever god teach me i will try my best to share with you guys <coughs> And uh, I'm so excited that God raised me up to share his word among the unreached. And uh, today <clears throat> I'm going to share with you not so many things, but two things I will share and will take a uh, few, few minutes. And uh, then you can ask some questions. Oh, I'm serving here, and uh, let's start. Heavenly Father, I come to you. I know my weaknesses, and I'm proud of my weaknesses, because your grace is sufficient for me. Thank you to allow me to hear and share my heart and how you have been teaching me. Now is the time to share with my global family. Thank you, Lord, putting us into our family, giving us a family. We are not alone. Yes, Lord, thank you for your precious blood to lead us and give us identity. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, we start reading from John chapter 17, verse 20 to 26. <clears throat> I do not ask for these only but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me, and loved them even as you loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you have given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, even though the world 
does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. This message uh, really touched my heart, and uh, in this morning I want to share the prayer of our Lord Jesus, not only for his disciples, but also for those come to the world and uh, we are the people that Jesus has been praying for us. We come to Christ through disciples because disciples share with us the love of God. Salvation message. And through their words, we become a family. And family need to be a one. And here, when I was looking, Jesus prayed that, O oh Lord, Father, Jesus is praying to the Father saying to him, as we are one, I pray for them, that they may be one. When I was looking at verse 20, I do not ask for these only, but also for those that they may be May all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you. Just sometimes I was feeling that the, the part of we are the part of the Trinity. God is inviting us, allowing us. Be part of very holy trinity. And uh, this unity is uh, beyond my understanding. Sometimes it's just like we cannot understand God. So, so that we are the sinner. We are. How we can be a one with you? So then the answer is through the blood of Jesus, through his son, we can and we are the part of his holiness. Because of his grace, because of his love. And Pray so yeah, then I was thinking that how it is possible or not. And then when I saw that when I look at the church, you know, what about this church? The church will be one with you. He said to me, yes. Church when the church is in unity. Here are, I said the Lord, it's a very big, big, big goal to bring church into a unity. 
and only you can do that. Because I am facing a lot of things and it creates stress in my life. To bring unity, even in my family, even in my church, even with my close friend, it's really difficult to bring unity. It's a challenging. And I, most of the time, when I talk to bring unity and uh, be uh, one with others, it always creates stress. But Jesus prayed. Jesus wants to give us the best. He knows everything. He knew that we need our unity. And uh, there are two aspects. One is a spiritual and the other is relational. And Jesus was praying. The spiritual aspect is the answer. Spiritual aspect, when I was uh, thinking how Jesus, the spiritual aspect is answer, how we are one with you. So then I found another passage in Galatians chapter 3. And verse uh, 27, 26, yeah, 15, 26 and 27. For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. Thank you. So this is a beautiful verse. We are sons of God. We all are sons of God. The sons or children, uh, I want to say that here some ladies, maybe they can say that uh, how we can be, uh, or, or we are not mentioned, it's about uh, sons. Actually, we are the children. For in Jesus, we are the sons of God. And we are the family. How beautiful. Jesus has given his life and by faith on the cross, on his blood, on his sacrifice, we become the sons of God. We are the children of God and we are the family. All over the world, we are the family. And uh, when I was looking my blood relationship with my brother and sister, I saw that so many conflicts, so many things going on. But when I saw the relationship I have with my brother and sister who are in Christ. They have a faith in Christ. I feel more connection. I feel more love. And whatever Jesus has said, it makes me more proud. It gives me more satisfaction. Thank you, Lord. Now I have 
in faith in you, we are the sons of God. We are the children of God. And by faith in Christ, we have, we are the sons, and we are in verse 29. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham of strength, highest according to the promise. So, this verse really gave me uh, also a blessing, the blessings of Abraham and his offspring, his children. This is a spiritual part. with the Christ, with the Father. But, on the other hand, the relational aspect is really difficult. Jesus said, If you abide in me, and I abide in you, you will be a fruit. If you obey my commandment, that I will reveal to you. What does that mean? I learned that uh, it's the relational issue why I have. But it reveals if I have, we have a uh, right relationship with relationship with in obedience. The love of God will reflect through us. When Jesus is in me and God is in me and I'm part of the God and God God is in me and I am in God God will reflect through us. And the relationship will be a different. Today, church needs such relationship. That when people have deep relationship with God in prayer and repentance, then there is a hope for the unity in relationship. Practical relationship with others. Although we have different situations, I mean, miserable situations. Thank you. 
really difficult to love when you are hurt so much. In my surrounding, there are many people, even me, have faced a lot of challenges. main problem 
we want other people to be like us. And we are not accepting others that they are, they are the different. If we accept others, accept the differences, then how do we to be them? We can be in a unity. So then I started praying for other people. Oh Lord, help me to accept the differences. Your world is so beautiful. Your people are so beautiful. Help us to bring unity to us. And help us to accept others. Help us to accept the differences. Can you? Maybe my. You can accept my apology. Two things I cannot express my feeling in English. Yes, we need a unity. God is a marvelous thing for us to have a unity in spiritual realm. I'm praying, Lord, also give us a grace to bring unity here in our brothers and sisters, in our churches, in our families. We need your grace. We need you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.